Guys, so you probably know how ridiculously expensive dental treatment is in the U.S. is, but I have a perfect solution for my passport bros and blue book gentlemen. Check out Columbia Dental Vacations. They give you an affordable dental treatment in Columbia with great results. Not only that, all of the gistes are taken care of for you. You'll get to see the area and experience exciting activities. You'll have a great time during your stay in Columbia. Use my coupon code UNPLUG and you'll get a $150 discount on your dental treatment package. Visit the website for a free quote. The link is in the description. Remember to use my code as a special offer, UNPLUG, and have an awesome time in Colombia. Hasta luego. I'm the a-hole for refusing to pay for my stepdaughter's wedding because her real daddy is the one that's going to walk her down the aisle. So let me tell you guys about my stepdaughter, all right? She wants her real daddy to walk her down the aisle. Now let me give you a little backstory on, my, on me and my stepdaughter. She just graduated from university, which I paid for. Now, she went to an in-state university, but it still cost me about $40,000. Now, I also bought her a car. I bought her a car straight after high school. That way she could go back and forth to school. I bought her a car. She still lives with me and her mother. She does not have a job. Now, uh, for real, you could end it right there. I don't know. <laughs> he really could have ended it right there. I mean, he basically provided everything for her. I don't understand what the issue is. If any woman disagrees with where he's coming from, they got an issue. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Raw back with another video. If you're new to the platform, welcome to the tribe. I ended this video. I hope you subscribe. So, this is a fellow YouTuber, actually. Um, last time I checked, I believe he was he had two girlfriends, or he's married the one girl that got a girlfriend. I'm not sure. I, I know he. I know he's been um, been polygamous for a while now because I, I see him all the time. Uh, so it'd be interesting to see which one of these women he's referring to that he's with. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump back into it. Good job. Now. She's set to be married on August the 8th. And for the past six months, that's all her her mother been talking about doing. Being occupied with, being consumed most of the time. Now, her daddy, he don't contribute to not one cent on her. Not her education, not her, not child support, which is probably her mother's fault because, you know, she didn't fight for that. And, and that, I guess that's just what the settlement was. And he only around to make promises. I do that for you. I do this for you. And then take off. And then she'd be heartbroken. But she adores her father, right? So, like I said, she said to be married in August. And the wedding venue, I told them they could have it in my home. The wedding venue can hold about 250 people, right? Now, I said, hey, I got a list of 20 people, 20 people that I want to come to the wedding. I'm paying for this at my house. I want these 20 people to come. Do y'all know Saturday... I see one of my friends at the golf course, right? He's supposed to come to the wedding. I'm like, hey, I'm going to see you at the wedding, right? He said, I only got an announcement. I didn't get an invite. I'm like, nah. I'll let my girlfriend and, and stepdaughter know to send out the invitations on these few people. And then you're supposed to get an invite. He said, I got something, but it was an announcement. So we walked to his car because I want to check, right? And sure enough, it was an announcement. So I went and talked to my, to my, uh, my girlfriend and said, did you invite those 20 people to the wedding that I, that I told you about? Man, she didn't invite none of them. She said 250 people is a little tight, and I don't think we can get your 20 people in there. Man, I was pissed. Bruh. Hey, wait a minute, what the hell? Am I missing something? Is This better be like a skit or him telling somebody else's story. For real? Let me get this straight. You've provided for this daughter. You're willing to have the wedding at your house that you pay for. You pay for her way through college. You pay for her car. She's staying in your house and she don't have a job and you paying her way through college. I think I already mentioned that. I apologize, but it is zoning me out because that was 40 bands and he's paying for the wedding. He's done all that, including paying for the wedding and having it at his house. And he can't bring and you can't get the 20 people that he wants to come out of 250 you can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. 
Yeah, I heard it. I pray to God that this is a skit, bro. And I hope he just putting this scenario out there, man. And it's just. You can't put nothing past these women nowadays, though. That's the thing, bro. It's crazy, bro. Because this would not shock me if this is what's really going on. Let's keep it moving. I want to see what I want to hear more. Man, I was pissed. <clears throat> and the people that, that were supposed to come, they pissed as well. Then she's going to say, if any of the people that we already invited don't RSVP, then we'll get some of your people in here. I'm like, what? Man, that's crazy, man. Don't even worry about it, man. I'll just be mad. All right? So now, the crazy part about it is, when I check the invitations, they don't even have my name on them. They have her real daddy and her on the invitation that I paid for. I paid for these invitations. Bruh. How you got a real daddy on there her mama on there? Cool. Couple days later, I'm hosting. Hosting the venue at my house, Host, hosting the, the wedding family at my house, okay? It's me, stepdaughter, a girlfriend, groom, and their parents, right? Trying to help everybody get real acquainted. Then a surprise guest shows up. My stepdaughter's real daddy, and I'm like, you know what? You know what, cool. He probably just coming to the wedding, right? But tell me why my stepdaughter proceeds to stand up and announce that her real daddy is giving her away at the wedding. Bruh. What? The wedding that I'm paying for the, in my house? The daddy don't do nothing for you? It's giving you away? Ah, oh, and they were just so happy and smelling. Oh, yay, great. Inside, I was fuming. Inside, I wanted to cry or punch somebody. Probably want to do both, honestly. So, I took that time to stand up and give my give a toast as well. I said, you know, I owe the groom and the bride a deep debt of gratitude because they have opened my eyes tonight. Oh, everybody at the table was just smiling. They have let me know that my position in this family is not what I thought it was. Oh, you should have saw the frowns, man. Now they mad. It done got serious. I let them know I am not the godfather or, you know, the head of the family that I thought I was, the loved one that would be seeked out in times of need. Nah. I realize I'm an ATM. Yeah. So... Since I have been replaced as host as the, of the wedding, I shall be relinquishing, giving my financial duties to the new host. And I will back out monetarily. Yeah. Yeah. See, now how much you want to bet? I don't even, I don't even got to, I don't even got to watch the rest of this. How much you want to bet? They're going to try to blame this on him and try to make him look like he the bad guy just because he got a damn backbone. I'm willing to bet the bank on it. Let, let, let's keep it moving. I want to see I want to see the reaction to this. Yeah. Yep. Now, after the announcement, a whole lot of snickering was going on around the table, right? A lot of mumbling, but they didn't say anything to me. Nobody addressed me now. Now, later that night, tell me why my girlfriend going to come to me talking about some how I'm ruining so much. How I'm ruining so much for backing out and how her daughter ain't going to have her, 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 her dream wedding and how her daughter ain't this and that. OK, well, it's apparent that I'm not family in this family. So the family should take care of it. Right. That's my stepdaughter. I mean, it ain't even my stepdaughter, really. It's my girlfriend. Uh, I just happen to be around her for the last 10 years. But tell me why the next day my girlfriend trying to show me uh, how much I'm ruined. Right. She takes me to where they plan on the wedding and the wedding planner showed me uh you know, all the, all the things they got going down, everything they got set up. I look at the venue. They got some father-daughter dances, right? Three songs. All of them catered to her real dad, not me. I looked at the food, the food they got. Two of the dishes got stuff I'm allergic to in it. I just started laughing. Like, <laughs> they want me to pay for this. His name on it, not mine. His songs, not mine. The food, I can't eat the food. And the 20 people out of 250 that I wanted, they can't even come in, in my house? Wow. Okay. It's wild, man. So I went on ahead and let her know. I will not be there and neither will my money. Yeah. And they will no longer be at my house either. And you will no longer be at my house. Or your daughter. Because, yeah, I'm not family. I'm not even important enough to be uh, put, put up on the brochure. It's crazy, man. Yeah. 
So to add on top of everything else, when she shows him what he's quote unquote ruining, all the daughter dance songs are catered to her real father. He can't even eat most of the stuff that's on the menu because he's allergic to it. These women are crazy, bro. These women are crazy. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm going to leave it up for y'all in the comments because I've done enough spazzing, man. I'm, I'm trying to enjoy my time in the Philippines before I leave. Let me know what y'all thought about this, man, because this was crazy, bro. If you're new to the platform, please subscribe. Oh, geez, I appreciate the love and support. Make sure y'all hit that bell notification. That way y'all know what I'm uploading. Hit the like button because it helps with the algorithm. It helps me reach a broader audience. Also, look out for the Travel Vlog channel. Unplug Traveler. Link is in the description and pinned in the comments. To the next video, y'all. Deuces.